agent here, and we are going to play with Wasp Lasers. They got a accuracy buff. We're going to pick up about five seconds into this match. We're just starting out, and uh, what we're flying here is a build. It's a, obviously a hover named Venom. It's got a number of Wasp Lasers on the front. It's not quite up to standards to be able to call it a gun bed of sorts, but it's pretty close. And we've got three modules. We've got Blink, we've got EMP, and we have got a Disc Shield module. So we're going to kill the first two enemies as they charge in right off the bat. Pretty easy kills. Got a pretty weak aircraft and a small, low CPU Tesla build. So we look up the connector strips, shoot right up the middle of those, and uh, we can take a tower pretty quickly. But we get hit by an enemy. I preemptively popped a shield. Didn't really have to because he um, he got caught up in the EMP, so that was a waste of a shield. But that's okay because we're going to kill him anyway. He's focused on my teammate, and he is out. And we're going to immediately turn our attention back to taking the tower. These Wasp Lasers with the buff, they are spectacular guns now. Um, it may just be the enemies I ran into in this match, but I almost like them more than Disintegrators right now. They are actually useful. Their DPS is going to be lower, but their fire rate is higher, uh, much higher, and their energy consumption is extremely efficient. So they're actually pretty darn good guns. you got to invest a lot of CPU in them, even they're only, uh, I think they're about 10 CPU each, but uh, this guy thought he was sneaky again, not so much, wiped him out quick, and I'm pretty sure he rage quits after that because he leaves the game, returns to main menu after he gets wrecked. So that's our first rage quit. There may be another one shortly after that where I wreck a guy a couple times in a row and he quits. But it looks like he may already be out of the game. I'm not sure. There's a third quitter on their team. No, he is not out of the game yet. But uh, they wind up short three men. We wind up short two. We had uh, one not load in at all, I think, which is okay because I carry pretty hard in this match. And uh, we are going to try to shoot this guy's rocket launcher off before he is able to hit me with it. Now, using these wasp lasers, you're going to run into a lot of like gun beds and stuff that have no real modules or anything. They just have tons of lasers all over them. Those things can be pretty hard to defeat unless you have modules to use against them. If you're trying to out gun bed a gun bed, it's basically going to come down to whose bot is built better who has the tankier tank, or who shoots whose guns off first. Not a lot of battles, that's basically what they come down to. But it's a little different when it comes down to these wasp gun beds. And I've seen people say they're a problem, and I don't really think they're a problem at all. Um, as you can see, I'm able to handle them pretty easily with my own variation. Yes, it is a high CPU build, but I've also killed them with lower CPU builds, so they're not really a problem. We're just going to flip around from enemy to enemy, uh, pop that EMP, he's fleeing now, which is good because we're taking a fair amount of damage, we're uh, losing some armor. He's got PSKs and I do have a couple electro plates on the front of this, but it's not heavily reliant on them, they're just a little bit of additional armor. We need a little help from our teammate. Then we're going to buzz over here, I think now that I've got some decent overclock builds, we're already at overclock 8. I uh, was going to head for the tower, but I saw this Mega Plasma guy hanging up here, and I'm feeling kind of cocky at this point because I've been wrecking everything I run into easily. So we're going to strafe around this little hill, and we are going to engage him and try to get rid of that uh, Mega Plasma launcher before he's able to deal too much damage to me with it. And we did succeed in that. However, they have a base shield. He's going to retreat into that. I don't want any part of going to fight inside the shield, so I'm going to rush this lock on missile launcher guy uh, right up in his face strafe around and shoot his missile launcher off they're very easy to deal with because they're very big targets even with wasp lasers and their lower dps they have better damage per energy and uh, they are pretty effective weapons now that they've gotten an accuracy buff 
So we kind of got caught off guard there a little bit. Multiple enemies. This guy really, really wants revenge, but we're not going to let it happen. Uh, I managed to get away. He followed me, but unfortunately for him, I got away to a teammate who was attentive and helped me finish the job, or he finished the job and I helped him. One of the two, doesn't matter which. Now that we've healed up, we're going to go back out there. Uh, I wish the spot was a little bit faster, but it's pretty fast as it stands. I'm uh, very very satisfied with the uh, balance of durability the damage it's able to dish out and the speed of it it, it turned out to be a really good build it's very happy with it uh, this is the first match I've played with it on this account but I did used to play matches with it before the wasp laser buff on my other account so I'm slowly moving my bots over to this account because this is actually my main account but I didn't have premium on it um, with the sale I got premium on it I haven't played it since that Alienware promo long ago when buying a bot actually leveled you up so I got to level 88 but I didn't really have any parts on it so it just kind of sat until the sale and I thought okay you know I'll start working on this account again since it was my main and uh, build it back up so I'm slowly transferring my bots from two different accounts over to this account and it's going pretty well so far first match with this bot on this account and as you can see the wasp lasers they just rip they absolutely rip right through these crystals when you get some overclock built up it's just uh, amazing how fast they can rip through these crystals I'm incredibly pleased with this bot's performance so far. So we're going to stop that guy from hurting us. I want to take this tower before I go back into fighting. So I finished the tower. He buzzed off somewhere else, probably because there's two of us here with the shield. I've still got an EMP to pop and a blink to use if I want to get the heck out. So uh, probably good that he got out of there. Now, I've got the audible warnings that this tower is under attack, so I'm going to move in to defend it first thing I do is pop the guy with an EMP and as you can see I'm shooting all of his guns off as quickly as I can uh, once he comes back from the EMP then I pop my shield unlike earlier where I just kind of wasted my shield I popped it right after the EMP for some reason I guess I freaked out and just started pounding on the keyboard or whatever but uh, that's the wrong way to do it and that was a mistake on my part not a perfect player. I do make mistakes. I miss, miss a lot of important shots sometimes. It happens. Even the best can get wrecked. So we're going to focus fire on our enemies right now. Um, I do like to play cleanup crew and help focus enemies down. Take the last few remaining shots on damaged enemies. Uh, he's moved out of our line of sight, so I'm actually going to help deal with this lock on missile launcher guy again we don't want him shooting at our teammates and I'm gonna turn my attention back over here finish that guy off shoot this guy's gun off I don't want this other guy to heal yet but I want to get rid of this mega plasma because this thing can do a lot of damage especially on a small build like that so we got rid of his mega plasma I turn my attention back over to the guy that has the PSK left finish him we're gonna move in and help our guy finish this guy off too. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this bot, uh, partially due to the enemies not being as experienced with the game as me and then their build types, this bot is absolutely wrecking everything it runs into and I love it. This was a great match. So we're gonna pop our EMP on this guy, stun him so he's no longer taking that tower. Uh, he did have some backup show up <laughs> He blinked the heck out of there. I guess he uh, saw who it was or saw the shield and decided to get the heck out of Dodge. So he's probably going to go over and try to capture our other tower. So what we're going to do is we are going to move over there and defend that tower again, if we can. So I believe that tower is pretty close to being capped. So yeah, he's back over here again. And now he's trying to ignore me and finish his cap first, which was a big mistake because now I've got a huge um, damage advantage on him. And he tries to blink away, but I've got my blink almost always ready. 
And I've also got some down thrusters on the front of this bot so I could actually nose down and get the line of sight from my guns on him that I needed to finish the job. So again, we've defended our tower. We're going to go up, start getting a little aggressive on their core. If they don't manage to capture another tower, which I believe they do, I forget. We'll just have to see uh, see what happens here. I believe they do capture a tower back, and I have to fight it out for a little bit longer. Uh, I've got a guy over here. Yeah, he's trying to get this tower back. And this is like a plasma gun bed. He has got a ridiculous amount of plasma cannons on this thing. And uh, I can't even possibly shoot them all off before uh, he comes back. So we are actually going to have to blink out of there again because we've taken heavy damage. So that's what that blink is for. It's there to save our butts. As you can see, my movement parts are all pretty well protected, especially from plasma damage. Uh, rails, not so much because rails have the penetration model, the penetration damage model, and they can actually get through. Uh, and punch right through the armor and skip over air gaps too to destroy parts inside your bot. So rails can be pretty dangerous no matter how well built you are. So this guy thinks he's being sneaky but not today my friend. My enemy in this case because I knew exactly what he was doing so I popped my shield, he popped his. Well I've got an EMP to pop on him too and we are going to follow him right over the edge, use those down thrusters. They're not quite strong enough to nose down all the way, but that's okay because he's already half dead and we're gonna finish the job. Tries to blink away, not happening. I've got the energy for that still because of these wasp lasers. Uh, that is the major, major selling point of these things is that they're so energy efficient. You do have to be able to sustain the battle you have to be able to stay face to face with your enemies with these things but if you've got a build that's tough even on just the front end uh, you're going to be able to wreck all kinds of stuff with these weapons because you're able to use your modules very effectively on a high CPU build. Uh, this build is uh, somewhere between 1800 and 1900 CPU so it's almost a full 2000 CPU build but not quite. Now that we've taken our tower, I checked the skies above me. I thought they were shooting at something, apparently not. Uh, we've got high overclock, so we are going to move in and we are going to start attacking the reactor. And uh, just look, just look at how fast these wasp lasers, once you get that overclock built and the protonivity, they just, they cut through these crystal, crystals better than nanos did in the old days. I mean, they just rip the crystals right off of that core. So there you have it. Uh, wasp lasers are incredibly viable now. This was very much necessary for the new players to be able to compete. And I very much like it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.